Hello, in this video, we are going to talk about user defined functions, also known as UDF in BigQuery. Then we are going to see the rank function and some analytical functions in this video. So let's get started. I'm very happy to tell you that in BigQuery, you are able to run not only SQL functions, but also some JavaScript functions. The UDF, which is user defined functions, is a temporary function which returns a specific data type. In this, we have create temporary function. My temp function is the name of the function. It takes as an input string and returns a string. The language defines which language we are trying to use in this function, which is JavaScript. And all this function does is whatever the name is passed, it concatenates Mr. in this front in front of this name. Very simple. You can use any complex JavaScript function over here. So I'm doing a select my temp function, which is I'm calling this function, passing the name John as display. And this is what the output would look like. So row one, display Mr. John. So this is user defined functions in BigQuery. Now let's look at, and we are gonna run this and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna be run in a minute. Next is the rank function. The rank, as most of you would know, that is used to rank a subset or, or a records from a table based on some condition. Here, I'm trying to rank the county and the category of the liquor from the BigQuery public data, Iowa liquor sales. So based on the sales, I'm gonna rank the county, for every county, all the categories of liquor. So how I'm gonna do that? Using rank, Basis over partition by county. So this is how I remember. So what needs to be partitioned? That means based on what county wise. So every for for every county, I want to find out what is my liquor category with the top dollars. So partition by county and order by sum of sales dollars. So based on the sum, which is order by, I wanna do for every county, tell me the category. Therefore, I put a rank over partition by county, order by sum of sales underscore dollars and in the descending order as rank. So the output of this would look like the county, category name, sales dollars in the descending order, and then rank. And finally, I'm gonna show you, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to run this in BigQuery, but for analytical functions, if you wanna do any analysis like standard deviation or correlation, average, mean, median, all kinds of functions are available in BigQuery. So select standard deviation and correlated, correlate, find correlation between volume of sold liters and sales dollar from the stable. And this would the output be. This is the standard deviation, and the volume sold and the sales dollar are highly correlated. Let's look at in real time how it looks. My suggestion would be for you to follow these steps and keep on doing the same thing. The link to the scripts which I'm using in my videos is available on the video description section below. So let's you use user defined function. So create temporary function, my temp function. Remember, it passes, it takes input as string and returns a string. I'm gonna select like this. Say run, run selected, 
and let's look at the results. And you will see Mr. John. This is UDF. Next is rank function. We discussed rank function here. By what, like based on what, wise, and then order by sum. So based on the sum of sales dollar, give me rank by county in the descending order. Let me run this query as well. And you would see that for county add air, and then once this is done, let me just scroll down. You have another county, Adams, where the counter, the rank resets itself. The reason is the partition by clause is at county level. And finally, the analytical functions in BigQuery, which is standard deviation and correlation being shown here. You can use mean, median, anything what you want from an analytical purposes. And you must have noticed that I am running using the run selected because I have multiple queries in my query editor. So you, this is standard deviation and correlation. So as a hands-on, what I would like you to do is download the scripts which I have used and practice for yourself before you move on to some use cases of the rank function, the arrays and the structures in the following videos. Thank you for watching.